I love nature. I think everything, natural forms, are just beautiful. And that's what I record here and there. I like to be in this sort of environment, away from all the influences. And the influences in London are um, mesmerizing. So I feel you have to be in the landscape. And this little spot is something that I have great um, feeling for. And I'd like to get to, to the bottom of it a bit further. So every day is an adventure. Oh, I like the bit of magic. I go looking for a bit of magic. I tell you, it helps. Occasionally, I get a good idea. Not very often, but I do occasionally. And this is a deep personal feeling which totally obsesses me. The light, the weather, the Irish temperament, if you like, is mercurial. It changes quickly. Uh, so does the place. So I can go back to the same place. It doesn't want to, it never looks the same. And I try and pick up on that and make it vive la différence. You have to look on texture and color as being the flesh you put on the skeleton. You have to get some structure to be able to control areas of color. I have tried to eliminate a considerable amount of drawing and use the color to create the depth rather than the tone. You would understand that tone is black and white in all degrees between. And that's what a lot of art is about. But to get a sense of space with color, you are using variation of hue, and that's not so easy. Those little sweet peas are fun because they're the limerick. If the other paintings are the, the major work, they're the, at best they're, it's a sonnet, but it's mostly a limerick, I think. If I've got a good idea, I'm like a terrier in a fit. I hang on to it, I don't let it go. I keep at it, and, and if it's not right, I go back to it a year or so later. Totally compulsive, totally obsessive, and very obnoxious. <laughs>